Coventry is a proud city with a rich and ancient heritage. Despite suffering terrible bombing through the 1940s Blitz, the city has continued to develop, forging a unique identity with firm foundations in its resilience and ambition. This is really the iconic symbol of peace and reconciliation. And it was that that made Coventry's name internationally after the Second World War. It's also about transformation. Coventry has always been a place to embrace change. Right from the start of the medieval city, the history has been a roller coaster. The city's now on the point of something new. New buildings, new regeneration, new industries, very much university focused. And this is absolutely a key moment for the city, another milestone in its long history. Innovation has long been at the heart of the city's growth and development, from watch and clock making to the production of bicycles, tool making, aircraft and, of course, cars. The city has been at the centre of the British motor industry since the beginning of the 20th century. And Coventry continues to be a leader in change. It's among the ten biggest and most influential cities in the country, with over £9 billion of inward investment underway or about to start. Coventry is once again undergoing a massive transformation, guaranteed to uphold the city's status as a centre of excellence. Coventry is a really exciting place to be at the moment. It feels like it's at the beginning of a renaissance. Everywhere there are cranes and new buildings going up, new businesses investing in the city. There's an awareness of culture and the importance of what happens in the spaces between the new buildings. In the last ten years, the city has done some pretty major national events which have brought all the artists and communities together. Coventry City Council, a top performing authority, is implementing a bold vision of dynamic investment, raising the profile of the city as an attractive, vibrant, can-do city through massive regeneration and further improving opportunities and quality of life for all its residents. The city of Coventry has huge unfulfilled potential. The City Council has a real ambition to help make the city even greater for future generations. The £2 billion regeneration plans for the city centre are just part of a much bigger regeneration plan that we've got for the city. The vision for Coventry will revitalise residential areas most in need through initiatives like New Deal for Communities and the Canley Regeneration, guaranteeing an attractive choice of housing with access to quality services. The city centre will be transformed by progressive architecture, the regeneration of public spaces and the creation of new jobs and business opportunities. Achieving all of this will require successful city-wide cooperation. To make Coventry the city that we all want it to become, it needs a huge amount of partnership work. The police, health, voluntary sector, the business, all working together with a common aim, which is to put Coventry on the map. But it's only by engaging with the diverse local communities and encouraging young people to become involved in its life and future that Coventry can make its inspirational thinking a reality. We have a tremendous vision for our city, which is to regenerate it. And we can't achieve these objectives without working with our partners, not just our traditional partners, but with the communities who live and work in Coventry. As a city, we try our best to listen to the young people that we work with. Young people are making a massive contribution in Coventry. They're taking part in lots of positive activities. They're spending their time doing things that are benefiting not only themselves, but their local communities, making their areas look nicer, feel nicer, feel safer. There's a real different mood in the city that hasn't really happened before. People working in partnership together. We're reaching a whole range of people who haven't engaged before. Coventry is one of 20 new growth points in the UK. A staggering £9.4 billion programme of investment has the potential to create over 74,000 new jobs and up to 33,500 new homes in the city. The investment is strengthening the city's high-tech industries, developing commercial spaces like Belgrade Plaza and attracting an ever-increasing number of key national organisations like Seven Trent and QCA. With retail successes like IKEA recognising the opportunity, the city is anticipating a remarkable upward swing. The plans that we have for the city centre really are ambitious. It will be a magnet for people to come in, not just from the region, 
but nationally and indeed internationally, a city centre that other people aspire to actually achieve for their own city. And it will not just safeguard us for the next generation, it will actually put us in a pole position for generations and generations to come into the future. Coventry is committed to raising levels of attainment in all tiers of education. To ensure a skilled workforce will be on hand, the £50 million learning quarter in the increasingly regenerated and revitalised Swanswell area will promote state-of-the-art education for lifelong learning. The City College has set a new standard for post-16 education and both Coventry University and the University of Warwick with over 35,000 students provide innovative partnerships in industry. Many of Coventry's secondary schools deliver excellent results despite having to struggle with outdated buildings and facilities. The £45 billion Building Schools for the Future programme represents a fantastic opportunity to rebuild or refurbish every secondary school nationwide, with £355 million allocated to Coventry alone. The transformation of education is an integral part of the city-wide regeneration. Coventry is meeting the wider needs of its local people and engaging and inspiring its communities. Fibre optic broadband cabling for the entire city is ensuring a far more comprehensive internet access and a whole new dimension of learning within education. A £200 million investment in culture through institutions like the Herbert Gallery and Museum and the Warwick Arts Centre will provide a focus and drive for the creative arts to flourish and engage and inspire the city's young people. I'm on a crew called the Combat Breakers. We came second in Britain's Got Talent out of uh, 50,000 acts. The reason why I think we did so well is we had a huge support from our council. We invested a lot of time and a lot of money into the young people. Coventry's got a lot of opportunities for people and like, kids can get involved in like uh, drama, dance, music, sports, you know, anything to suit their talent. You know, they've worked with a productions company for a short while at work experience, so it's really exciting there. The transport and communication infrastructure make Coventry one of the most accessible cities in the country. Its 300,000 plus residents benefit from its £42 million Prime Lines bus network and the park and ride service, which helps them move quickly and easily through their city. Pioneering work in community cohesion enhances the sense of well-being within the city, whilst a thoughtful balance of restoration and redevelopment projects will unite past with present in a dynamic new phase of Coventry's history. We must keep moving forward in an innovative way, keep pushing back those boundaries, improve the areas that we now need improving, but build on those that are strong from the past. The resilience, the pride of the people of this city means we've got a great untapped resource. We will make these ambitious plans for the city a reality.